Hello, this is Alan. In this video, I'm going to describe a command prompt called Power CFG, Power Configuration. Now, Power CFG is a very powerful command for managing and tracking how your computer uses energy. So let me go to a command prompt and notice that I'm using the administrative command prompt because a lot of the features of Power CFG require administrative, the administrative level of access. So I'm going to type in power CFG forward slash and question mark. And here are all the arguments that you can use with Power CFG to monitor your power usage on your laptop. You can find out the forward slash list or forward slash L. You can find out the power schemes. You can modify settings. You can delete power schemes. Hibernate forward slash H enables you to disable the hibernate feature. Let me type in power CFG forward slash A. And so here are the sleep states that are available on my system. Now, one of the most common causes of problems with power savings and hibernation on Windows is an incompatible device driver. To diagnose a problem driver, you can use Power CFG and the argument forward slash device disable wake, and then you put in the device name. So you can go one by one through the device drivers and you can figure out what the problem device driver is. So you would disable it and then enable it. As a uh, network administrator, the power P uh, CFG is useful. When activating power savings across the LAN, it's important to ensure that software updates, security patches, and antivirus updates are not disrupted. Now, Microsoft recommends to configure its Windows Server update services install updates when workstations are available and Windows Task Scheduler can be set to wake the machine when needed. Now, there's two reports that you can create with Power CFG. These reports are very useful to monitor energy use and battery life. One of them is Power CFG forge slash battery report. So using this command, you can create a file and it's an HTML file to provide a detailed analysis of your battery. It creates this file and it will store it on the, a Windows 32 directory. So if you want an easier way to find it when you create it, you can put a forward slash output and then in quotes, you can put the location where you want it. And this is what the report looks like. So the first section, you can see it has a description of your computer your, and your operating system information. The second section, gives information about your battery or batteries if you have a secondary battery. The third section gives usage, power usage over the last three days. Start time, state, source, and capacity remaining. The next section has graphical and tabular data on battery drains over the last three days, duration of battery use, and the drain as a percentage or in megawatt hours. 
And then UC's history, history of the system on AC and battery. Battery capacity history. This is interesting. What you can use here is you have the full charge capacity and the design capacity. And these lithium ion batteries, you know, they don't last forever and they will degrade over time. So you can use this information to determine the ongoing health of your battery. And then finally, it has battery life estimates. And this will give you the estimated charge life of your battery. And you can see from this that my battery is roughly three and a half hours on average, which is interesting because when I bought the computer, they back in about five years ago, I was told that it had a battery life of nine to 10 hours. Now, what I think is going on is that I use a lot of applications on my computer. You know, I, typically I'm surfing the internet or I can, I can be watching them, uh, YouTube videos or, or uh, making videos. So I have a lot of drain on my battery. And so when they're selling the computer, they're probably giving you a battery life under a low load. Now to determine where to improve the battery health and increase its life, you need to generate an energy report. So again, power CFG forward slash energy, and you will get a detailed report on power usage in your computer. But, and again, if you put forward slash, if you add forward slash output and then in quotes, you can put where you want this report to go. That way you're not searching for it on your hard drive. And this is what that report looks like. So the first section is information about your computer. The report will list errors, warnings, and information. So here are errors. The report, it takes about a minute to be created. Minute or two, and then you get all this information. So here are errors that need to be addressed or should be addressed. Here's some warnings. Again, you can look at these and you can address them. And then some information down at the end. OK. So that's it with Power CFG, a very useful tool for doing determining the state of your, your power usage on your computer and to diagnose problems. So thank you, and I will see you in class. Bye-bye.